Canadian women's fashion brand Aritzia and its CEO are now facing a lot of backlash after this insider expose that involved talking to dozens of their former employees about the experience working for the brand. Now, this is a brand that's been around for some time. I'm sure many people watching this are familiar with it. I actually had not been familiar with it prior to this insider article. But man, was there a lot going on behind the scenes. You can see a little shot of what one of the stores looks like. There's actually several of them in LA. Um, it's uh, known for being fast fashion, which is awesome and great for the uh, the world. Um, producing minimal and basic clothing items that cater to the cool girl aesthetic. Mm-hmm. As opposed to like the lame girl, yeah. the like stupid girl. Yeah, the, like, stupid girls who aren't cool and they aren't like pretty. Out of it, yeah. Like I, I've always cool felt like girl. fashion spent too much time focusing on not cool pretty girls. Yeah, yeah, Finally, yeah, exactly. The cool pretty girls have a store to shop in anyway. The issue isn't necessarily with the cool pretty girls, it's with CEO Brian Hill. So here are a few of the things that his employees and former employees have revealed about him and about the culture of these stores. So Hill apparently assembled a group of employees near the front of the Toronto store and gestured to a nearby Victoria's Secret plastered with photos of lingerie clad models. Quote, why aren't we hiring people who look like that, he said. I would like to remind him. The angels do not ring people up at Victoria's Secret. They don't work at that store either. They're just promotional models for the brand. Does he not know how stores work or how models work? (laughs) Anyway, a former style advisor says he definitely plays a bit of a hot or not game. We don't need to keep this girl, she's not cute. This girl can get promoted because she looks a certain way. A former retail talent acquisition specialist recalled discussing hiring Kendall's or Courtney's, never Kylie's or Kim's. What? The fact that that means something to him bothers me so much because I don't know what that means. Aren't they all beautiful? Aren't they all stylish? I I literally have no idea what the differentiation between the Kardashians. I have no idea what he's talking like. No, I get that they're different humans. I do get that. But to him, it means we hire these sorts of women, we promote these sorts of women, and not these sorts of women, even though every one of them was probably already chosen because they were attractive. That's not enough. Apparently, according to these people who were interviewed, body shaming was the norm. Five people who worked at retail stores in Ontario between 2009 and 2015 said their managers asked them to rate their own or each other's appearance from one to 10 in daily huddles. That is Christ. psychotic behavior. Why are you rating your coworkers? Why would you care? So it's literally just to create a Lord of the Pretty Flies situation. Mm-hmm. We should be constantly competing with each other to be hotter because that's what being an attendant at one of these stores is about. I mean, this is the second story, I think, inside of a year that we've done about a fast fashion brand like this that caters to the cool girl. The last one was Brandy Melville, which is massive yep. among adolescents, I guess. And same thing, girls were fired for not being thin enough or not looking a certain way. They were hired for looking a certain way. And it's all at the behest of some creepy dude who it's like, why are you in this business anyway? And look, I'm not trying to be like, you know, gender essentialist about this and say, like, well, you know, Only the men are creeps, but like nine times out of 10. And honestly, like, look at the way that they're behaving. And I'm sure others, again, like others in positions of power at these brands and other brands are probably not much better. This guy's just like extra disgusting. Um, But yeah, I mean, here's, you know, we keep talking about AI replacing jobs. Like, I'm very excited for this dude to like launch his, you know, perfect woman. The Kylie or the Kims into the store and like watch them fold and be like, you know, very exciting. I I would love to have, wait, which of the two that he doesn't like? He doesn't like Kylie or Kim. I would love to have (laughs) them do a little rating session of CEO Brian Hill because he knows physical perfection. He knows how to attract. So I'm sure he's super hot. Anyway, um, finally, let's see. They rate for style, basically, their employees. And after being told that one employee had a low rating, a merchandise <laughs> manager questioned it, asking if the employee was skinny or fat. When she was oh told that she was skinny, her rating was bumped up multiple points. Didn't even see her, doesn't know what she looks like, but she's skinny, so she's probably hotter. 
Anyway, it's not just that. Uh, two black former style advisors uh, said that on separate occasions, a store manager asked each of them to make her coffee the same color <sighs> as their skin. I like having had to read that sentence. Sue them, sue their asses. I, I think some lawsuits are probably coming would be my expectation. Anyway, uh, yeah, corporations are terrible, don't buy the branding. It doesn't matter if they have a celebrity that you like, uh, almost invariably they're the worst people ever.